Sting's first hit as a solo artist was, if you love somebody, set them free. And apparently that's the philosophy the musician has when it comes to his kids and money. In a new interview with the Daily Mail, the 62-year-old rock star confessed he's not planning on leaving his estimated $306 million fortune to his six children. I told them there won't be much money left because we are spending it. We have a lot of commitments. What comes in, we spend, and there isn't much left. I certainly don't want to lead them trust funds that are albatrosses around their necks. The rocker went on to say his children barely ask him for anything anyway. They're all older than 18 and have strong work ethics. And don't worry, Sting and his wife of 21 years, Trudy Styler, don't spend all the money on themselves. A large chunk of it goes toward their charitable work, which they told Katie Couric in 2010 focuses on saving the rainforest. Plus, Entertainment Tonight reports the couple employs more than 100 people. And as the Today Show points out, Sting and Trudy aren't alone in this type of decision. They need to have a sense that their own work is... is meaningful and important. I, I will still be buying the stock. <laughs> it's a sentiment shared by billionaire investor Warren Buffett. Yes, Bill Gates has pledged most of his $76 billion fortune to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And Warren Buffett did give his children billions, but they have to invest it in their own charitable causes. They've inspired other one percenters to do the same. Gates and Buffett started the Giving Pledge in 2010, a campaign to encourage the wealthiest people in the world to make a commitment to give most of their wealth to philanthropic causes. Big names like Richard Branson, Michael Bloomberg, Mark Zuckerberg, and Spanx creator Sarah Blakely have all made that pledge. For Newsy, I'm Bryce Sander.